I've got your answers. Uh, we're ready to program this thing. So what we're going to do is in programming, there's a very simple section. It's section 898, and this is how we're going to program the uh, three devices and then the remote control. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with star 8, and then the installer code for this panel, which is 5555, and then we can press 898. So what happens is it tells you wireless enrollment mode, and it's ready to take a transmission from a device. So to initiate the transmission, we'll start with the door contact. We're just going to take the magnet away from it, and it's going to come up and tell you to confirm ESN. So the number I have here on the screen is 25678A, and you can find this number on the transmitter on the back side of it, and it should match to be the same number. So once we have the same number in here, we'll just confirm that by pressing the star key. And then it press uh, star or zone number, and it always comes up with the first available zone. So uh, zone one being the first device that we've enrolled, and that's perfectly fine. So we'll press the star key. And then it's going to ask you for the zone type. And this is going to be where you tell the system how you want the device to respond. So whether you want this to be on a delay, or if it's going on a window, you want it to be instant, or uh, in this case, with the door contact, we'll just assume that it's going to be a delay time door. So we'll go ahead and press the star key. And it says activate device for test. So you just take the magnet away, put it back, and then take it away. Oops, what if I get on the right side? There and take it away and put it back. And it tells you that the activate the device location is good. So we'll set that aside and we're done. So we press the uh, star key. And it says wireless enrollment mode. <clears throat> so now we're ready to enroll the second device. We'll take the magnet away from the second one. And again, it tells you to confirm the ESN number. So we have 23778, which is what we have on the back of the transmitter here. So we'll go ahead and star to confirm it. And in the next available zone being zone 2. So we're okay with that. Press star. And what we'll do is this is coming up with zone type 01. So we'll make this one an instant and we'll press in 03. So activate the device for the test. Tells you location is good. And then the pound key. Back to wireless enrollment mode. We'll set that aside because we're done. Now for the motion, all you got to do is take the back plate off. So we'll just slide that off. Put it back on. And it tells you confirm ESN, which is 3B48C2, which can be found on the back on the sticker. So we hit the star key. And it's going to come up with zone 3 because this is our third device. So we'll press the star key, and it tells you zone type 05, and that's perfectly fine for a motion detector. That means that when you arm this to stay, this detector will be off, and just the contacts will be on. So we'll press star, and it says activate device for test. So you can actually pop it off its back plate, put it back on. It tells you location is good, and then you hit the pound key. I'll take care of that one. And then we have the remote control, and all you got to do on here is just press and hold any button down. And you'll see again, same thing, it'll say confirm ESN number 6A9874, which on the back of this is kind of hard to see because it's small, but it matches. So we'll go ahead and press the star key. This time it's going to tell you key number one because it's the first remote control keychain remote. So on this case, we'll go ahead and press the star key, and that's it, wireless and enrollment mode. So you can actually go ahead and press the pound key, and it tells you intersection, pound key one more time, and we're out of programming. System is ready to arm, so you can actually, uh, we still have a caution light on here, and that's because I can see that the date and the time's not been set. So we're going to do that by pressing star 6, and then it tells you enter your master access code, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, and it says select option event buffer, and at this point you can just press 1. You have the time and the date right there. Now the time's got to be entered in 24 hour format. So if it's two o'clock, you'd enter in 1400. So 1400. And then uh, today's date, which is uh, 05, 04, 
one one and then we'll hit the pound key trouble light should be clear system ready to arm and that's all the programming you need to do